Well, hello YouTube, this is DJ Rude, and uh, I'm just doing a quick video because uh, I wanted to update a few things. Uh, over time, you guys have seen my equipment grow, and you've seen uh, the different changes that I've had, including adding the booth, uh, the LCD screens and the stands, the lighting, the truss, the, uh, the sign over here, that's something new since the video. And, uh, you know, since the video I did on my facade, I mean, so what I wanted to do is just kind of give you a quick overview of, of what I've done to improve my system and to offer more uh, to my customers. Uh, this is just uh, not really a tutorial. I've got a few of those coming. Just haven't had a lot of time to get it all together because I've been doing the DJ thing and I've been running my other business. It's just been extremely busy for me. So, but anyways, uh, so let's take a look around. Let's see what we got here. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to take all of this to every gig, but you know, if they pay, if they want it and they pay for it, it's there. I just did a gig on Saturday and I brought everything you see here. So let's uh, let's let's take a quick look here. Okay, so as you can see here, I built the facade. Many of you have already seen that. As a matter of fact, quite a few of you have already built your own based on what you saw me do here as well as other guys on the net. I have a sign that I had made with my logo. Obviously you see a caricature of me there. Like right, Wolfman Jack or something. And then uh, the wedding couple. Now I put these pictures of this uh, sign up on uh, the Pioneer Pro DJ website and uh, on Virtual DJ. And just about everyone there had something negative to say about it. First of all on Virtual DJ, oh no, I'd never bring a sign like that to a wedding. The wedding is not about you, man. It's about the bride and groom. Well, I agree. But my sign, first of all, I ask them if it's okay. But I will ask them. It's not like I'm, oh, nope, I'm not gonna bring it. No, bullshit, I'm bringing it. So, I'll tell them, I'm gonna hang this from my booth. Is that all right? Because people aren't gonna go, oh my God, I'm mesmerized. Shit, I don't think I'm gonna be able to dance or pay attention to my friends who just got married. Oh crap, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna stare all day at this handsome guy. No, they're not going to do that. They're going to see it and they're going to say, okay, that's, that's the DJ they hired. Cool. And uh, if you know all goes well, they'll say he's doing a good job. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, so then I've also added the, uh, the LED shadow. Thanks to uh, Mikey Mike. Uh, I was looking at his video because I was looking at the, uh, the other one that has like more like a fluorescent bulb on it. And uh, this one just seems to kick ass over the other ones. And of course, you've seen my Vertigo, the View 6, that's the color palette, and the Scorpion Storm, and I got a Derby, an LED Mushroom, and then over here, the Techno Strobe. And then on each of my speaker stands is the Jewel LED. Everything I have is LED, I don't have any halogen. Okay, I'm doing a video right now on a trip I took out to Guitar Center. And I bought this Sennheiser G3 wireless microphone system. This thing is awesome. I was going to get the, uh, the PGX or the SLX or XLS or whatever it is from uh, Shure. But all the guys at Guitar Center said that this is a way better microphone to get. It's got more channels, so on and so forth. Okay, and then here's the laptops. That's running Serato right now with the SL3. And this right here is my Dell. Uh, that's not a new computer, but it's new to uh, me using it for DJing. And over here is the module for the microphone. Now let's come on back here behind the booth. Okay, so this is what my view looks like. This is Serato running on the cdj 400s with the DJM 800 by Pioneer Mixer. My external keyboard. And down here is another addition. I added a mixer for just, you know, all kinds of different uses. I wanted to add uh, effects and stuff to my microphones for karaoke. And uh, I've got, you know, my uh, TC Helicon VoiceWorks Plus, which is right here, running into that as well as my M Audio, or I'm sorry, my TC Electronics M350 effects processors running into here and uh, to this microphone. And then over here we have an Ableton, an Akai APC40 running Ableton Suite 8 on the computer here. Obviously I don't have any of it set up right now. It's just a 
I haven't initialized that screen, but anyway, so that's for Ableton, so that I can uh, combine Scratch Live with Ableton for just some killer sets or some awesome production. And this is pretty much what it looks like when I do my shows. All of this is right above me or just offset right over the top of the equipment. So, anyway, and then here is the microphone receiver. Check one, two. Testing one, two. Okay, so here it is. Testing one, two. Testing, testing, one, two. This is DJ Rude in the mix. So you can hear the echoes. That's just one of the settings that I have it for, but there's a lot of different things I can do with it. And that's exactly why I wanted to have it. And then this over here, I don't think I've ever really focused on this, but this right here is something that I use for making music as well. This right here is a Yamaha Clavinova, and uh, it's one of the top of the line. It's a MIDI controller as well as a, you know, as a synthesizer. It's a CVP-107. Uh, this thing just kicks ass. I love it. I can use it to... Uh, to make tracks, put them in Ableton, and tweak the parameters and just do different things with it. Another thing that I have here too, it's a Baldwin Grand. And, uh, and I record myself, you know, making uh, music with it. And, uh, and I use some of the sounds for samples. You know, I've been involved in music for, for a lot of years. And, uh, the reason I bought all of this stuff is because I want to be able to do more with, with the talent that I have. You know, I'm 42 years old and I figured that uh, I've worked my whole life and now it's time to work on my play and uh, my real passion, which is music. So, this is what we have going on. I think it's a pretty awesome setup. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be upgrading my speakers. I'm going to get the... Uh, QSC HPR series. I'm going to have two 18s on the bottom with the three ways on the top stacked on it. The three ways are too big, they won't go on a pole. And they'll stack right on it on each side here. Two 18s and the three ways. And I think the three ways are 12s and 15s, I'm not sure. So they'd kick some bass uh, even without the 18s. So, oh, here's my gaming chair. Yeah, that's right. Because I do a hell of a lot of, uh, well, when I have time, but. I play Xbox 360. I, 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 space, Rude Dog, space, I, I, I. That's my gamer tag. I got a uh, Sweet 16 that I did last weekend. I'm going to throw together a gig log. DJ Advise uh, recorded most of it because I was too busy spinning sets. So anyway, I appreciate all my subscribers uh, watching my videos. A lot of you guys PM me telling me uh, you know, that I did a great job with my videos. You know, I never expected any of that. I just did. I did all my videos because I like to share the knowledge and information that I have. Um, but I do the same thing. I go and I travel through all, you know, the different DJ websites. And, uh, and I learn from you guys as well. So, you know, that's what I love about, uh, you know, the, the virtual world here on, uh, on YouTube. You know, we give and take. It's a give and take world. I learn from you, you learn from me and we just spread the knowledge to all the noobs and old school DJs getting back into it. So, uh, much like myself. Anyways, I appreciate it. Right now I'm nearing 2,000 friends. I've got almost 300 subscribers and I'm moving up. So, uh, I wanna give a special shout out to DJ Advise for uh, you know, kinda helping me get back into this thing. Uh, you know, he's helped me do a few gigs. I've gone and helped him do a few. And uh, good guy, DJ Marl. Check out DJ Advise's channel. You know, I'm learning from other people, too, while I teach what I know. So, anyways, I appreciate the time. I got to go hit the gym, you know, put some more uh, meat on my arms and get too skinny because uh, all I do is spend my time doing this and running my other business. So, I'm going to get back in the gym. It's been like a week since I've been there. But, anyways, thanks a lot. This is DJ Rude. Peace. Keep spinning.
ました。